Bon dia. All right, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the My Heritage results. They came in in three days time. I had a lot of people in the comments requesting the 23andMe, My Heritage, and deadmatch.com. Uh, there's a there's a few DNA companies that people have suggested to me see what their breakdown is or see what my breakdown is. A couple things about my heritage that I kind of learned from like watching other YouTubers that are Dominican that um, check their results on my heritage is basically they were a lot less diverse than DNA ancestry is. They um, they also don't have an indigenous Haiti and Dominican Republic category. Instead, they just kind of say that you're Mesoamerican and Andean. So those are just a couple things that I saw from, from YouTubers that, are, that were Dominican that were uploading their results. So here, let's just dive right into it. And then, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what, what we got here. All right, my heritage breakdown is 52.8% South Asian, which is pretty much on the money considering I'm half Indian, half Dominican. Uh, the next largest region after uh, India or South Asia, as they put it, is Africa. All right, and for Africa, my largest country is Nigeria, 18.2%. They, they've increased my Nigerian DNA all the way up to 18.2% which means something else had to have been decreased. So let's just take a look. And then I got Kenya, 3.1% Kenyan. I didn't even have that category in my DNA ancestry breakdown. So I am more than happy to include this in my DNA breakdown. I've always found Kenya super interesting. Um, just even just the wildlife, it's just super interesting. Um, and then the last category I have for Africa is West Africa at 1.7%, which is extremely surprising, considering I had several West African countries on my DNA ancestry breakdown um, that had over 1.7% for each of the countries. Uh, so that's just crazy. But of course, if Nigeria is getting bumped up to 18.2%, it, it makes sense that something else would, would get um, you know decreased by you know a whole lot there as well. Overall, the same thing as DNA ancestry in terms of the continents. And then the next largest region is Europe, which is expected. DNA ancestry also had my European DNA as being my third largest breakdown. Um, and it looks like they have me at 6.4% Iberian. And that is extremely surprising. I expected my Iberian to be a whole lot higher. I mean, Iberia is your, your Spanish and Portuguese DNA. Super, super low considering I have a great grandmother directly from Spain. Um, but that, yeah, that is, wow. I can't believe that, so low. And look at that, the Italian is the same, 6.4%. It is, that is crazy. How do, how do I have the exact same amount of Italian DNA as I do my Iberian DNA? You know, in my family history, um, our Italian ancestry would go way further back than, than our Spanish. So that's just, uh, that's just crazy. But I do know that Spain was either the first Roman province or one of the first Roman provinces. Um, so there's just always been a lot of Roman or should we say Italian DNA uh, going around Spain. Um, and then, wow, Greek and South Italian, 1.9%. So. Uh, that's what is that? 8.3% 8, 8 total in the Greek and Italian, which is more than my Iberian breakdown. I don't know, you know? Uh, it seems like whenever my heritage starts updating their algorithm, you know, the, whatever they, they use to kind of give us these percentages, it looks like they're, they're most likely going to decrease the Italian because that, it seems like it's a little bit overestimated. DNA ancestry. Uh, was just slightly more accurate in those categories, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, 23andMe might give us exactly the same results as this. Then the last European region is Scandinavia at 1.4%. And now for the Native American, which is really my Taino, is Mesoamerican and Andean at 8.1% which is a huge increase. Um, and that right there, I mean, I don't know why I don't even 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 know why I don
is is really interesting. You know, my heritage gives you their take. I still think the Indian ancestry was slightly more accurate. Um, so I'm assuming they're gonna bump down just some of the Italian a little bit, probably some of the Taino, please, please God no. Uh, probably some of the Taino a little bit, and most likely some of the Indian. Looks like they're gonna bump those those things down specifically. But overall, this was really satisfying. Um, you know, now I get to include Kenya into my DNA breakdown, which is, to me, I love it. You know, I'm gonna travel to all these countries one day. So now Kenya just got added to the list, which I honestly was already gonna travel to Kenya with or without it being in my DNA breakdown. So that's, uh, yeah, I love this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Was this more accurate? Was it less accurate? Was your My Heritage results accurate? Like, I don't know, I don't know. But we will stay tuned for the 23andMe, the Jed Match, all those other ones, and uh, I'll keep you guys tuned, all right? Até logo.